Hello there everyone, I have kind of a random and quick DIY craft project for you today. I have a lot of brooches and I need new ways to display them, so I created this shadow box with velvet ribbon and I just wanted to show you how, because I'm really into crafting and DIY right now, and I figured I might as well film how I put this little one together. So I have lots of different velvet ribbon here in shades of black, grey, and different colors of green here. Actually, I had a heck of a time finding velvet ribbon right now, which you would think would be easy with Christmas, but actually it's hard because of Christmas. But I have my shadow box here. This is a 12 by 12 shadow box from Michaels. This one opens in the front with and like stays closed with magnets, so I can get in here and get to the brooches. And I'm going to cut these ribbons quite long, that way I can have easy access to the brooches as well, and it's easy to pin them to these what will be loose pieces of ribbon in here. And you can see I have this brightly colored graph paper that I went ahead and cut into strips to be able to mock up the arrangement of my ribbons and like the different lengths before I started cutting the velvet because of course I didn't want to mess up all my velvet ribbon. So that is what I've done here. I've just mocked up the different lengths of ribbon I want to have in here and I kind of just wanted this to look like an assemblage of ribbon. I was going to do it all multicolored but I couldn't find lots of different colors of ribbon so I had to make it green. Uh, I just worked out that way and we know I'm not that upset. I had this delicious bright green ribbon here in my stash. This is actually the only one of these ribbons that is like truly vintage and is a silk rayon blend maybe and it's a very nice ribbon and I have one little last piece left over but the rest of this is just crafty ribbon from Joann's and um, then I got the dark gray wider two inch wide ribbon here from a millinery shop here in town down at Allen's but um, they have a lot of vintage ribbons so their ribbons are quite expensive if you, were to, if you were to do this, but the rolls of ribbon you see here, the two, the, like the olive green and the Christmas green rolls of ribbon were only $2.50 at Joann's, and they are three yard rolls. So you could do a whole one of these with just one of those maybe, but you could do this in uh, monochrome or you could do this in different um, like widths of ribbon perhaps. Here I just have one inch, one and a half inch wide and then two inch wide for the dark gray color here, but everything else is one and a half inch wide ribbon. I just thought that would work well scale wise for being able to pin my brooches to it. So here I'm just going through and I'm cutting different lengths of ribbon and arranging them as I see fit now that I'm getting a groove for it. And I'm going to layer them so that I have the rest of the ribbon loose but the top is uh, glued down. We're going to use a hot glue gun today. We don't usually see me using a hot glue gun here on the channel but every once in a while for a DIY like this I'm just going to hot glue this all together. So I'm just going through and cutting all these ribbons. Again this is kind of a well, not kind of. This is a very random project for me, but I have a lot of vintage jewelry, as we know, and I've been making a lot of those beaded brooches lately, and I need new ways to display some of this stuff in my bedroom slash closet. Um, most of you, if you're unless you're new around here, you know that I um, live at home with my family still, as I am uh, starting to save up for a house now, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. Um, you know, that's a lot to, to save, so we'll see. Um, but... Until then, I like to keep my space that I do have feeling very me, and so I've been renovating my, well not renovating, redecorating my bedroom a tiny bit. I've got some new bookcases up in there, and then I've just been rearranging my gallery wall, which is what this is going to become a part of. Um, so I've been decorating a little bit lately, and I've just really been into crafting lately as opposed to sewing. I'm having a crafting moment, I don't know what that's about. But I'm going to use two long pieces and then these other little straight cut pieces to fill in the background of this. And I'm just going to take a picture of this with my phone, or I was, <laughs> um, just so I can save this arrangement that I have in case I forget what's going on. So it's nice to take pictures with your phone sometimes when you have laid something out. And I was thinking, gosh, I don't want to keep this white. I better paint the back of this black. I could have covered it in a black fabric as well, but I just had black acrylic paint sitting here anyhow. And I was like, do you know what? Let's just go ahead and paint this little canvas backing that comes with the shadow box. That's what this is. Um, it's just like the foam and canvas backing of the shadow box. I'm going to go ahead and paint it black instead of the white. And then I'll let that dry overnight, actually. So here I am the next day with my hot glue gun. Again, there are two long stripes of ribbon that are going to go right along the sides of this just to cover them so that if any of my over overlapping ribbon doesn't overlap all the way, these at least will be covered. Um, that's also why I painted it black, just so that if any part of this backdrop of this shows, that it will be black and at least match the rest of this. And you can see I'm gluing half of the ribbon at a time, just so that the glue stays perfectly, not soluble, but like uh, hot <laughs> until it doesn't uh, cool down before I've got these things in place. But I'm just gonna go ahead and go through with the hot glue gun here 
my ribbon is fraying a little bit, um, and then go ahead and put all these ribbons on. So again, the bottom of this I'm just covering with a, a stripe of the darkest green ribbons in black um, down here so that this area is covered, and then the rest of the ribbons on this are going to be loose so that I can pin into them with my brooches later. Um, and I'm going to keep this focused with mostly insect brooches, which isn't hard for me to do because I have quite a few in my collection now. I love collecting them, so you'll see what this looks like with all the brooches pinned on at the end. I'm just going through here trying not to burn myself on hot glue and not get like hot glue goop on top of the ribbon, which sometimes I succeed at and sometimes I fail at. Um, this ribbon is also very covered in like uh, velvet fuzz, extra velvet sparkly fuzz because I've been cutting this ribbon. And uh, so I'm going to eventually like lint roll it with a piece of tape here so you'll see that at the end as well. But I'm just going through and gluing on this ribbon. There's many, many ways you could do a shadow box like this. I just thought this would work well for having the brooches accessible still. Because of course I want to still wear them anytime I want to wear them. But if I can only wear, you know, maybe, I don't know, three brooches at once maximum. So the rest of the time they can live in here. And then at least now they will be on display instead of in a drawer. Um, but I don't like leaving them out open to the air and elements because sometimes I do find that things will tarnish, especially real silver brooches, for example. So it's nice to have this in still a enclosed space. It's not like it's vacuum sealed or anything, but um, it's nice to have things closable. Hopefully that makes some sense. But here I have my little middle arrangements of ribbons. I'm going to put these back how I think I had them before, or at least how they look nice. I could have referenced the picture on my phone, obviously, like I was saying. So now I'm just going to make sure that everything still is looking how it's supposed to, because I really don't want to mess this up at this point, especially because it took me a long time to find ribbon. <laughs> I was having a hard time finding velvet ribbon. Also, I should mention, I try not to shop with Joann's anymore, um, because they were not very kind to their customers during the beginning of the pandemic, and I don't know. But like when it's like, oh, I need velvet ribbon today, like I couldn't really order it online and get it tomorrow, you know, that kind of thing. So while this idea was fresh in my brain, I went to Joann's. So arranging my last top row here, you can see as you're watching me, hopefully because I'm forgetting to talk about it, I'm only gluing down like the top half inch of these top two rows of ribbon, and that is so that they will hang freely inside of this box and I can pin my brooches to them easily. Um, so I'm just pinning the, or pinning, I'm just gluing the very top of this. And wow, look at my hair. Uh, short bangs stick up wildly if you don't do them. That's all I have to say for that. And, uh, I did not do my hair and makeup today, so I apologize for how wild my hair is looking here. But I'm just going across the top here and gluing my last row of ribbons to hang down. You could totally do this on not a shadow box as well. If you just bought like a canvas and did this kind of effect to the top, I would make it so that these ribbons obviously extend over the top of the canvas if I did that um, as a way, or like you could do this to like a cork board or something like that to make it look fun and luxurious and be able to display your jewelry. I feel like you could probably poke earrings through velvet ribbon as well here um, if you wanted to display earrings. Trim this up, do the final adjustments here. I went and grabbed some blue tape. You can see all those ribbons are loose um, so that I can pin into them. Grab some blue tape to use as a sort of lint roller here, which actually worked quite well. You can't really tell on camera here, but this is actually quite fuzzy, so um, this helped a lot make it look a little bit cleaner here. And then I can pop this backdrop, this ribbon backdrop, back into the shadow box. Um, I know, again, this is just a quick and simple little DIY here, but I figured I would show you what I was up to this week while I was procrastinating the Mandragora gown still. Uh, for some reason, the thing is becoming my nemesis this month. I don't know what that's about. I'm very excited about it. It's going to be so pretty. And yet, for some reason, I'm procrastinating it. I like to procrastinate my sewing projects with other projects and procrastinate my, you know, projects with more sewing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But now I just pop this backing back into the shadow box frame, secure that all up, and it's ready to hang on the wall and put all my brooches in. And again, this is like a magnet closing, uh, like openable front. So I can access the inside of this and my brooches anytime I want to wear them. And here is what that looks like up on my wall up in my bedroom with all of my spiders and bugs and cicada and a bat <laughs> all pinned inside. You can see this opens up in the front still so I can get um, in there and have access to all these brooches if I would like to wear them but it just keeps them on display and it's quite nice up here I've been rearranging this gallery wall like I said so I have the two largest frames on this wall I hung them even though the prints have not arrived yet I actually ordered two um, like Dutch still life floral prints online on Etsy but they haven't arrived yet um, so those will go into these larger frames here but I'm working on my gallery wall 
There's like a sort of stack of hats here on top of my dresser. I have some work to do. I also created this little um, other brooch display here. I thought I'd just briefly touch on it. This is just two little cheap wooden plaques from, again, the craft store with a dowel screwed into them to make this little like reliquy kind of display for that giant brooch I picked up in Palm Springs. And then I popped that into an Ikea um, glass cloche. I love these glass cloche jar, bell jar things, as we know. I'm totally obsessed with them and they are quite cheap at Ikea right now. Also, my brother brought Gunny in to visit while I was working on this. So here's my brother holding Gunny, who was very cute and ex extra affectionate this week. And then over here, I have another uh, jar from Ikea. But over here, I just put a pop, popped a fake pumpkin, popped a pumpkin, hard to say, popped a pumpkin into the jar and then put one of my new beaded beetle brooches on it. And when I walk past this in like the like dull light of night, it looks like a real bug on there and it does freak me out just a little bit. So I feel like it's working. And then over here, I made a tiny little pillow out of some scrap velvet and then stuck it into this other little bell cloche that I had. That I picked up at Home Goods actually, and put it onto my shelf here next to some box bags. Uh, I think I might actually do a room tour. I feel like, and part of me thinks, who the heck is interested? And then part of me thinks, some of you might be interested. So let me know if you'd like to see that kind of thing once I have finished up kind of redecorating this room. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see. And thank you for watching this funny little DIY video. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.